Hello, my name is Chris Campbell and I welcome you to 15 News. During the month of January, many thoughts turned to the legacy of the iconic slain civil rights leader, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whose birthday coincides with the nationally recognized MLK Day. The city of Southfield was one of the first in the nation to commemorate his life through the institution of the Peace Walk. This year's event marked the 30th anniversary of the first walk held here in Southfield. Hundreds gathered at Hope United Methodist Church for the MLK Peace Walk program. Organized by the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Task Force of Southfield Incorporated, the event culminated at the pavilion where attendees were treated to a full program of performances and lectures that reflected on the impact Dr. King had on civil rights in America. The walk helped all participants, whether young or older, to reflect on why Dr. King's legacy was important to them. I grew up in the civil rights era. I watched the water hoses, the dogs that were approaching the people. I remember when they walked across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. I remember Emmett Till. And I also remember some of the signs in the South, colored only. And I could never understand as a child why there had to be such inequality and such difference. And so I've always wanted to, when I grew up, to try to make a difference. I've been with the Southfield Dr. Martin Luther King Task Force since 1998, so a very long time, from president to vice president to many, many duties. And I feel it's important. I think that as soon as we forget our history, it's going to repeat itself. So I want to make sure that I do everything that I can to make sure that it never occurs again. Today's very important for a couple of reasons. I mean, it's the 30th anniversary of this march, which is a very important event, I think, for the Detroit area. I'm a native Detroiter. I was born in Harper Hospital more years ago than I care to remember. And I think it's very important that we honor Dr. King's legacy. And I also think it's important today, in particular, because of everything that's gone on in the Detroit area since the recession hit in 2008, in particular the bankruptcy, the crime rate, which I view as atrocious in, in the whole southeastern Michigan area. And I think we all need to come together. We all need to think about what we can do to help improve relations and bring peace to this area. Among some of the nationally renowned figures to participate with this year's walk were Queen of Soul Aretha Franklin, American Idol finalist Malia Watson, and keynote speaker and civil rights attorney for Martin Luther King, Fred Gray. All things considered, the walk strongly emphasized the need to carry on MLK's views of equality and justice for all. We stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That means that we can stand on issues with difference without hating each other and being mean to each other and with malice of a forethought. We stand shoulder-to-shoulder. -shoulder. That means I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. I'm not taller than you. You're not taller than me. We are equal to each other in all aspects. We also stand eye to eye. We should encourage each other not to lie to each other, but to tell the truth to each other. And in everything that we do, do it not for selfish reasons or egotistical means, but more for the value that it will give to help others. I think it's so important to show love, unconditional. I really believe that once you're toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder, eye to eye, and you can't lie to each other when you look each other in the eye, and heart to heart, you will have done everything that Dr. Martin Luther King wanted. And the major thing was to follow the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. To learn more about the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Task Force of Southfield, Inc., visit mlktaskforcemi.org.